on the city plain of Ravnica, there are few fates worse than being in debt to the Orzov Syndicate. Those who find themselves on the wrong side of an Orzov loan, more often than not, continue to repay their debts long after their deaths. The Orzov exist for one reason and one reason only, to make the wealthy patriarchs and matriarchs of the guild even more wealthy. Founded by a greedy council of ghosts known as the Obzidat, the goal of every aristocrat of the Orzov is to continue their avarice long after death by joining the Ghost Council. And for the esteemed patriarch of the Karlov family, joining the council could not come soon enough. The young law mage Tasa Karlov, scion of the Karlov family, could not have cared less about her so-called uncle's ambitions but her uncle forced her to sell her business and move to the district of Utvara. On the long and dangerous trip, the Karlov Patriarch was murdered by Gruul raiders, or so it seemed. As Tesa would come to learn, one cannot join the Ghost Council by committing suicide, and so her great uncle, or more accurately her grandfather thanks to a tryst decades later, hijacked his heir's mind. He compelled Tesa to murder him, hiding the events from her mind so that he could take a place on the council. The discovery of this manipulation drove Tesa to work against her grandfather's interests in Udvara, uniting the representatives from all ten guilds in the region to dismantle the Izzet Magelord Zomaj Hawks Orzov-backed coup. Worse, she gave away the cure to a deadly disease in the region for free. Tesa returned to Ravnica proper, just in time to defend the Angel Feather, on her trial for dereliction of duty. The trial was a sham, a distraction to allow the Azorius Grand Arbiter Augustin IV to seize power over Ravnica in the absence of the Guild Pact. With the help of her allies, Augustin was defeated and Tesa's new esteem granted her the clout to forge a new, non-magical guild pact. But it was not to last. Without the ancient hieromancy of the guild pact to bind them, the guilds began to fall apart over the decades. Until the great dragon Niv-Mizzet declared a race to solve the implicit maze, an ancient power left behind by the planeswalker Azor. Tesa, now second only to the Ghost Council, led the Orzov through the maze but was dismayed when the upstart Jace Beleren seized the power of the Living Guild Pact for himself. The inattentive Guild Pact was easy to manipulate, and by getting just the right decrees out of Beleren, Tesa had a plan to finally seize control of the Orzov and dispatch the Ghost Council. With the help of Boros legionary Tajik, Tesa gained access to the ancient crypt of the Obzidat, only to find a room where none of the Guild Pact's strictures applied. Imprisoned in Orzova and stripped of her titles, all hope seemed lost for Tesa Karlov. That is, until the appearance of the ghost assassin Kaya. Working with Tesa to eliminate the Obzidat, the ghosts of the council quickly found they weren't as untouchable as they once thought. But the true deaths of the council left Kaya holding their mystical contracts and becoming the de facto guildmaster herself, much to Tesa's chagrin. How long will Tesa be content to continue to play second fiddle as the threat of Nicol Bolas looms in Ravnica? This has been Ruben Bressler. You can follow me at M-O-X-R-E-U-B-Y on all of the social media channels. Please join me on Wednesday nights for Magic Mike's Magic the Gathering News podcast with Evan Irwin, Aaron Campbell, and myself. You can also catch me on Ravnica, The Broken Pact, the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica show on twitch.tv slash dnd. This video was written by Jay Anelli. Please check out his articles on coolstuffinc.com and follow him on Twitter. Make sure to subscribe to Cool Stuff and like our video. We hope to see you again. Thanks for watching. Cool